The rest of season two is gonna be in June. June! Hey y'all, it's Deuce, and as you can see from the thumbnail, I am very stressed for Zoe. <laughs> oh no, I know the episode's called Face the World, but it really came at her fast. <laughs> so, on today's episode of the After Show from Season 2, Episode 11, Spring Finale of Grownish, Face the World, <laughs> we are going to talk about how Zoe is facing the world. Because I'm guessing the spring, I mean, uh, how it is in the summer in June where we pick up. We're going to see how she is facing the world. I mean, how she faced the world. Basically, after, after all, after life came at her fast. But before we do that, um, y'all need to, you know, check my other stuff. Because obviously, we'll be taking a break from Grownish up until it comes back in June. So, y'all check my other stuff. And uh, follow me on Twitter for other channel updates and stuff. And now... Let's talk about it. Okay, so I take notes for those who don't know, and there's a lot here going on. So I'm gonna first talk about the academic probation. The cliffhanger from last episode, we knew that the teacher sent her an email, we didn't know for what. And we now know that sis got caught cheating. People are like, oh, you should have been caught about cheating. No, 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 let's not say that because I don't think Zoe really would have how, there's there's no way because how did she get she i don't think it was because she took out her big old cell phone no i think it's because they switched i mean i switched because they got different tests so either way she would have been screwed unless she found someone in the area that had the same test as her but yeah she's on academic pro date i mean not on academic probation she's on trial to see if she'll be on academic pro probation or expelled which by the way she didn't know she could get expelled for that for those who didn't know you can get expelled from college if you cheat so don't do it but yeah, um, at the trial, she thought she could at least save herself by um, having Telfy be there. But Charlie is not reliable. <laughs> he was like, I am a blood relative and I think I am too biased to weigh in on this situation. He freaking left flip flops and everything. Well, and then so she's she has herself and then her friends for for guidance. No, we told her that I do not recall, you know, Bill Clinton, <laughs> Monica Lewinsky. So, but he didn't do that. I mean, she didn't do that. She just like, I, I cheated. And that could have been really bad for Zoe, but she just got academic probation, which isn't that bad compared to expulsion, but it's still pretty bad. So she tries to celebrate like, yay, um, Luca, I won't be here forever. But then her parents, I mean her parents, her dad and pops walk in. Girl, girl. Oh, a little fourth wall break. Um, Right now in the DMV, it is currently snowing. Está nevando afuera. And um, oh my goodness. Y'all couldn't just done, you could have done this in the morning. Give me a delay or something. You had to wait. But that's that on that. Um, Yeah, so Dre and pops pop in. Wow, I didn't mean to do that. Um, <laughs> and if you've watched Blackish, you know how they are. But for those who don't watch Blackish, Dre is very extra. And Pops is a bit more laid back. But Pops is very conservative um, with a lot of things. So he was not here to see that she had a man in bed. And she was not here to see that she had drinks. And she was not here to see that her man was smoking. That was not good looks for her. Um, Dre was just mad that she had a man with her. I mean, at her, I mean, I said in bed. At her, in her room. They weren't, oh my gosh, that would have been bad. Um, Luca should have just sat there. He, he no one knows what Postmates sound like. Postmates don't ask about why you're drinking in college. And anyway, because actually, so she originally told them not to come because she was busy or whatever. But Telfy told him, I mean, told him that she had to get off of a trial for Zoe. He didn't know what the trial was for. Zoe accidentally told him that it was over accusations of cheating. And that didn't go well with Dre, especially, like I said, the week. Which, by the way, that had me dead. What's that? Is that a cigarette? What's it? Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's a... She slapped it so hard! <laughs> but, yeah, Dre did not like this behavior. It was so bad that um, Pops and Luca had to leave the other room. And Dre cut her off. Dre, 
drag her off. So next season, she's definitely about to be juggling college and a job. What we've been asking for, like some plotline of that, because that's so common for college students, but it's not seen. So we're definitely going to see that. And um, what else do I have here? Oh, yeah. Um, so the Pops and Luca had like a little bonding scene, which is a little nice, but I really don't see them doing any more. Because I don't see them, those two coming back until maybe like the, the summer finale. So, but yeah, that happened and Zoe's cut off and she's very stressed. She went from one stressful event to another. And I don't know how Zoe's going to recover besides, like I said, getting a job. So we're going to see how this crunch for money is um, going to affect Zoe. So from one parent to two, we're now talking about parent weekend. And y'all should have listened to good sis Gina's volume. because She was right. Aaron is alone. He is the R.A., just who has some companionship and his only other friends besides, well, actually, we don't know if he has any other friends besides the people we see him with that are in his grade. Everyone is, because um, remember, we always forget this, but Aaron is a grade older. He is a junior while they're sophomores. He doesn't have too many friends and I don't know why. He is lonely and he doesn't even get love and affection from his parents. Did he even help him move in? Now, what bothered me about this is that I thought this would be a great way to explore a new um, character dyna dynamic from him, like a new angle, new dimension. But no, he just, he says these really bad things with a straight face. It's, it doesn't go well. This is normally what he does for humor. So are we supposed to be laughing? Because I did not think this was like a laughing matter, but... I guess people can, you it, you can talk about your your situation in your own way. So if you want to make fun of it, make light of it, go ahead. That's you. But I don't think that's what they wanted to do with Aaron. Or maybe they did. Maybe they did. So from no parents to two parents, here we have Nomi. And she invited her parents over for parent weekend. And she came out. But <laughs> it was very funny. In my opinion. That actually was funny. So her mom was like, oh, so... I hope he's Jewish. And she said, actually, I don't know what she is. And <laughs> I was like, ooh, <laughs> I don't know about that. But um, she said that her parent, her dad, I think, I don't know what her dad, but I think her mom said it was like a phase or something, but her dad didn't really, they didn't necessarily accept it, but at the same time, they didn't like, they were mad at her. But Nomi has some tea, so she, mm. So yeah, Nomi came to tell the good news to her good, great girlfriend, but not really girlfriend, um, Professor Houston. I think that's people were saying her last name is Houston. Okay, I didn't catch that, but yeah, Professor Houston. But as we see while she's being all happy about it, she has another girl in the um in her house. Now I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why Nomi knows where the the um the professor lives. That's a I don't think anyone's paying attention to that. They're like, oh, wow, the, the professor lives near the school. No, why does Nomi know where the, like, and some people are upset that, like, she, like, went to her, at, to her home after hours. Why does she know where she lives, period? Um, I hope y'all didn't do anything. <laughs> but, yeah, um, especially since that apparently meant nothing to her. But she was like, well, you need to think of the optics. I could get fired for this. Okay, then why did you lead her on? Okay, you don't care. You don't care. But yeah, I feel bad for Nomi because I know she was hurt by this because she really felt something for that professor. So that's that on that. Finally, we're going to end this finale discussion with Anna because Anna was waiting all episode. Oh, you know what? I'm going, this is the best time to tell Zoe. But it was too late. It was too late. She had all these opportunities you know how long she she been knew about herself and Aaron since episode five, where it was like girls like you. That's when they've been a thing. She could have told her episode six, episode seven, episode eight, episode nine, episode ten, but she waits till episode eleven. And episode eleven was not good enough because Aaron told Zoe before she could. So that's three strikes, Zoe. You got the probation, you got the cutoff and parent disappointment, and now you got. Your friends have been doing stuff behind your back. Three strikes. She's mentally out. She needs a self-care day. She needs a self-care day. 
So yeah, um, I feel bad for Zoe. Oh shoot, I just realized in the parent weekend they were supposed to talk about Jazz's dad. All right, so I guess we'll do that here. So um, Jazz's dad hacked Jazz's account and took down all of her photos and put up advertising for his show. I mean, his show, his uh, his food truck. But Jazz didn't know this. He just knew. She just knew that someone hacked her account. She first went to Doug, knowing that Doug was really mad that she posted those very explicit well i shouldn't say very explicit like those are just they just showed a bit more skin than he thought and he was not okay with that but he didn't do it but she didn't believe him so when she found out her dad did it she apologized like a grown individual now that now i sort of feel like dads might be a thing again but doug he needs to put his misogynistic controlling self ways in thinking away you no, <laughs> you can't do that if your girl wants to do that she can do it you can't just be like oh i don't like that so you won't do it what you're not her father because if you were you would have posted an ad on her instagram <laughs> so yeah that's that on that i don't know about that relationship i don't know about aaron and anna and the only I don't even know about Zoe and Luca because he they, it didn't look like they were like Zook. I mean, Zuka that much. Yeah, I didn't mean to say Zuka, but yeah. Now, Pops might like Luca, but I don't know if he likes Zuka. So, I don't know about any of these relationships. And that's it, y'all. Um, I will see y'all again in June. But at the time being, I just want to thank y'all so much for being here. Grownish again. This is my first show that I've done um all seasons of. Um, my next project, I don't know what I'm going to be doing for the time being. Um, I really can't promise anything because I'm really scared that I'm not going to follow through. Especially since my school, we're doing this musical and I play the tenor sax for jazz and jazz band. Of course, is getting pimped out to the pit. So I'm forced to be part of this musical. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to do anything in the future because things are going to start really picking up. So, and of course, I have like other stuff to do too, so, academically. So I don't know. I'm not going to promise you anything. But until the time being, thank y'all so much for watching and stay tuned, you know, and I'll see y'all when Celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate.